Hey guys, Miss Master One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. So, last time we delved farther into Shrew Castle only to find out that this warp pipe that we ended up taking and that led to here in the sewers was going to lead upward to Peach, but it was knocked out of place, and while we were going through it, it led us completely downward into the sewers by an angry chain chomp who is obviously not in a good mood if he just felt like doing that to us, so. Really, our only choice at this point is to continue on through the sewers because we have no other ways of getting around the castle at this point unless we go through here. So, we're pretty much going to do that, and now I'll go into detail on why this is a separate area. The reason this is a separate area is because we have some new enemies here. I'm going to try to avoid the Shroopsworth for the time being because the guys I'm after are right over here. <clears throat> so, let's get started on pretty much our roll call. We have Shroopsworth, which is an enemy we've already seen, but we also have guys called Ghoul Guys, which are like the Fly Guys. Well, not the Fly Guys from recent areas, but I forget their name exactly, but the types of Shy Guys we saw in Bows Baby Bowser's Castle at the beginning of the game. They're a lot like that, except they have a certain ability which we may or may not go into. We'll see what happens. But for the time being, let's just take care of Shroopsworth because he's pretty much the number one threat. The ghoul guys really aren't too bad compared to Shroopsworth. I mean, the only thing is, they're pretty much- they only have one key thing to them, and that's that they're faster than their older, you know, selves. But also right there, you just saw that. Did you notice how that ghoul guy pretty much merged itself with, uh, what is it? It merged itself with the shrooms work right there, so you might be wondering, well, what's the significance in that? Can you please stop doing this? Come on! I you can only hold it for so long, dude. And what it does is you check that out, it actually boosts all the stats. Well, m not necessarily all the stats, because bosses really only have attack, power, or, yeah, redundant, power, defense, and speed as, like, main stats to increase. But right there... Basically, they'll sacrifice themselves in order to boost the stat of another enemy, and they can choose pretty much any enemy that's on the scene. So what are we going to do about this? We're going to use some coffee flowers on the little shrew that's left, because we need to get rid of him right now. Uh, that was pretty good. We got most of them killed now. So we've done a lot of damage to one and others are already dead. So this fight should be wrapping up very shortly. Again, that's all they can do aside from boosting each other's strength. So as long as they're the only enemies, I believe that... I do not think they boost each other, but you can correct me on that if I'm wrong. I'm almost positive that ghoul guys can't, you can't sacrifice themselves to power up other ghoul guys. It doesn't quite work that way. And there we go. So, ghoul guys, honestly, not too hard, but they could be a little bit of an issue. Oh, wow, and would you look at that? We got some Supreme Slacks on camera, so go figure. I get the Supreme Slacks, but I don't get the 100 point pants, so. Ghoul guys on their own are very easy to deal with. If they have friends nearby, it can be a little irritating. But, uh, you know what? I'm feeling lucky right now. Let's go and try to see if we can get ourselves... Oh, and it's just the shrooms went by his own, too. Let's see if we can get some Supreme Slacks from this one, since apparently we're having good luck getting those drops today. Alright, and now it's not going to have a turn to do anything, so I don't have to cut this fight out. It's only going to take, like, 30 seconds, because we're decently strong and we're decently fast, too. Come on, Supreme Slacks. I would love to get that right now. Can we get them? No, we don't get any drops, but that's okay. We do, however, get a level up for Baby Mario, which we really don't need, but I guess I'll take it anyway. I'll get a 1 for power, but I don't really care. And Baby Luigi gets a level up too, not that it matters, because he's pretty much set. And we got a 3 for him when I'm, I wasn't even trying to time, though, so... Whatever happens, happens. So, no Supreme Slacks for both the bros yet. And I'll be nice... I'll give these to Luigi, and look at the stat boost that he gets. He gets 30 HP, 50 defense... Well, no, that's like... 55 defense increase, 15 power increase, 30 speed increase, and he's really lagging in speed and increase in stash, so they are ridiculously good. Mario does not need them right now because he's pretty much the powerhouse of the group, and they'll pretty much, at this point, it'll even out the stats of power between the two adults. So, 
Luigi gets the first pair and Mario can get the last pair. And if I can't get them this video, I'll get them off screen. And I won't have to show that since I pretty much just showed that you, you can get them from that enemy now. Now for this part, we're actually going to roll the babies up into, a, well not roll them up, but flatten them out and have them go in here. And while they're in mid, like, uh, wind, mid drift, I don't know what you would call it. Let's get the, bows, the adult bros in position to do their spin attack and have the babies come over here. And then you'll get them to this part and what you do, just spin like this. And that we've already seen this kind of mechanic before, but because it's been a little while, just to show you how that works again. We actually want this to be... Yeah, we want this to lower a little bit if possible. Actually, no, we want to... And then, yeah, do that and then drop down here. And we have some items we can get. We can get some space trousers, which are actually the other alternative to getting the... Are those for the adults or those for the babies? Space trousers? Yeah, they're the alternative to Mario. And I guess for the time being, we'll put those on because it boosts his power, his power defense, and stash. But I do not intend on keeping that on for a whole, very long time because, uh, what is it? We are going to get his ultimate equipment. We already have Luigi's ultimate equipment and then the same thing. But we're pretty much just going to have that on for the time being since it's the best thing we have. So there's no point in not having it on. If you know what I mean. If that, hopefully that makes sense. So let's make our way over here. And this is pretty much the last time we have to deal with these sort of mechanics. It's in this little part of Shrew Castle. We don't have to like flatten them out and send them through all these wind currents and stuff. So let's have them go up all the way here. Those are the only few items that are actually in this little part. So we can just make our way to the top like so. And jump up and let's go. Doing so gets us up here and we can hit this button. And if we hit this button, it lowers those platforms so we can get the adult bros up here. So let's go rolling around at the speed of sound. Okay. Get this and it's, oh, it's a few coins who give a shit. All right, now we finished the first real part of the area. And by first real part of the area, I mean the first screen. So we still have a decent way to go. Let's spin the babies into this little tornado and send them across. And this is actually a little mini game. And off screen, I was actually... Oh. <laughs> go figure, I just chucked the... I just... Uh, let's, let's pretend that didn't happen. Dude, come on. Let's just pretend that didn't happen and let's try again. Okay. This is basically a little mini game where we free fall and we have to get a bunch of coins. So let's try our best to get as many as we can. And we're getting them all so far, but we also have, as you can see, we have some other things we can get here. And I'm not 100% sure where the other stuff is. Let's drop down. Couldn't quite see where those were. Do we have any blocks at the very top here that recall the babies? Let's see. Uh, what we could do is actually just uh, go back to this screen and we can get the babies back so that way we could just uh, try again. Okay, so let's try again now. Spin them in here. Now that we've gotten ourselves one of the, like, you know, platforms that have items on them, let's drop down again. We can get even more coins. Coins really don't make a difference, like I've said before many times already at this point, but, you know, just pick them up for the hell of it. I mean, oh, we got a 10 coin there and a 20 coin. They do give us decent money. So there's really, you might as well get it if it's here. You, if you wanted to, you could just completely drop down if you really didn't care. But, you know, I'll let this last for a little bit because this area overall is not extremely long. In fact, this part of the area is pretty much like two s sort of parts, if you get what I mean. I guess there really wasn't anything else. There was just like that little part there. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going to hit this block right here. That will lower the bridge, and it actually lowers the bridge on the other side. And I overlooked this earlier, and I didn't show it, but drop down here. That's pretty much where this leads to. So now we're regrouped again. But what we want to do... Let's get the babies back together, because we'll, they need to join so we can throw them down here. And then what we'll need to do is get them in position here. Do Transform to ball, and roll into this cannon. Then, we'll need to smash this little button here, and this will initiate the cannon to shoot the bros all the way across. Like so. And here's two mixed flowers. Never complain about mixed flowers. Let's avoid those enemies and grab these guys. I've already showed those up, so I'll probably fight another Shroob's Worth off-screen unless I get forced into an encounter, and I dodge them, so that works. Now, we want to do a spin jump and spin the babies all the way over to this side, because this is kind of like a little puzzly sort of thing, but it's not very difficult at all. 
Um, line up right here. And wow, I got lucky. I don't know how I avoided that encounter, but you know, <laughs> that works. It would have sucked if I had to fight that guy alone. Or like, you know, had to fight enemies while we were separated. And I see an item block that's on the bridge that we couldn't access before, so let's get that. We get two Ultra Mushrooms, nothing to complain about. Now we have the four together on the center part, we can hit this switch, and we can move on to the second part of the area, so let's go in. And this is actually, believe it or not, pretty much the end of the sewers after we do what we need to do on the screen. Now, however, we can only encounter, I believe we can only encounter one type of enemy, but I might be wrong, we might be able to encounter others with them. But if you look around, this is actually just like the, uh, how do you get over there? And maybe I'll figure it out in a little bit. But we want to drill under here, and it's really cool how they include this addition. But as you notice, look at this. We have some bob bombs here. And that guy's probably going to charge me in just a sec. No, he ran away. Okay. And they move ridiculously fast. If only they moved this fast when we actually fought them. But, you know, I'm not complaining too much about that. Pretty much go around this whole little part because we have a lot of, uh... We have a lot of of items to get around this area and we have an encounter with them so here we have lethal bob bombs and they they do a lot of damage so be careful not to get hit because they will try to explode on you upon their first move however their hp is fairly low as you can see we can kill them in two in just like one set of moves but they don't move too fast when you have to react to them so just hit them while you can because if you do not terminate them while you can when they're trying to do that attack they will explode you will not explode you but they'll explode and damage you for a decent amount of damage so be careful about it thankfully though even though we are separated it's still pretty easy to rocket jeans maybe is that for the babies or is that for uh no, that's, uh, stuff- that's worse equipment, we don't need to put that on, so let's just ignore that. We- uh, in the end, we won't want the Supreme Slacks anyway, so... Really, any other equipment I get, I'm probably not gonna put on, unless it's the other Supreme Slacks, because we already have pretty much everything. And these lethal bomb bombs again, very simple, two jump attacks, and you can just kill them, and then just, uh, come on. I kinda do wanna show off how much damage they do, but at the same time, eh, it's not the best idea. So let's continue on forward. There's a, a, just saying a shitload of items in here, like a lot of coins. You can get some gear. Looking around, is there any other things we can get, or have we come full circle? We might have come full circle at this point because yeah, yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> that was a lucky dodge right there. I think we're pretty much set. So let's get out of here. And that's most pretty much it for the area right now. But there are. There's like one little thing left before we can close the episode off, is and that's actually getting out of here. And that requires doing one other thing, which will become apparent very soon once you see what we have to do. And there's beans on all four of these platforms, I believe, so we're gonna go around to each little platform that's in this spot, and grab them all. Spin down, grab the bean, and there's one more on the right side, so let's go get that. Throw them up here, spin down, grab, there we go. Okay, so now that we've pretty much collected everything in this area, and we can't really go down there, so let's go to the left. Go down, and then go to the right. And now we have a bunch of spikes, which we can't get across. <laughs> I figure I'd just show that off for the hell of it. Here we have a block that we can hit with the babies if we jump with the adults first. Lower the bridge right there. And look at this, guys. We have the last block we need to hit that is right there. So let's go on this platform and... Wait, what the? Is that chain chomp again? And he stole the switch. What a whore. But we need that switch to lower the spikes. What is your problem? And we have this last little part right here. Now, the chain chomp steals the block we need to get out of here. And would you look at that? He has four blocks set up. And he's in those five pipes there. You know, relative to the position of the, uh, you know, the, he has five pipes relative to the position of the blocks that are placed, or etc. So the way this works is you want to kind of look at the pipe's point of view and look where it's facing, sort of. Like, it's really hard to exp it's kind of hard to explain, but it's not really that hard to explain. 
Let me just show you an example via, like, you know, visual instead of trying to explain it, because if I try to explain it, it'll probably be really confusing. Basically, you need to line up two blocks in a row that correspond to where he is, and a way I like to do this is look where he's facing and think what's in front of him. Like right here, he was in, well, last time he was in the front pipe, so he was looking at those two blocks that were like, you know, one was in front of the other. For this one, you want to appear, you want to think that uh, Chain Chomp is looking diagonally, or, or in this case, technically he's looking straight ahead at the two blocks that are diagonal, the top one and the right one. And that way it will shoot a laser to the left. It's, it's kind of like it's inverted, depending on where you shoot it. So it's a little tricky, and this one's also very simple. You just have- it's the reverse of the one we just did, so... Hit this one. And then we hit the one on the left, and that'll pretty much seal it. Except he has one more hit left, and he likes to change things up for the last hit, just to make it, you know, a little challenging. Once you get him down to one more... He will send five chomps out, and only one of them is the actual chomp. And the way you figure it out is that... One of them's actually faster than the other, but in this case, it's very difficult to figure out who that is. So I'm trying to look at it to see which one's faster, and I say the first three are like the same. It's really hard to tell. I'll just shoot straight again. This, I'll just say this right now. If you miss one of them, it's not a big deal on this part. So if we, if this isn't the right one, don't worry about it. In fact, the game almost pretty much intends you to miss this one. And that's the wrong one, so that's okay. And now we look at the chain chomps again, and we can this time we can easily tell which one is the fake or which one's the real one. Excuse me. So it's obviously the top right one since his mouth is moving ridiculously fast compared to the others. So hit the left block and the top block, and that will shoot the laser at the top right one, and that will clear out all the damage that we need. So once we kill him, the, the block is released, and we can hit that. And I just realized I forgot to bring the babies with me. That's kind of weird. The game, like, takes the babies off of you with, with that cutscene with him stealing the block. But, you know, that's fine. So let's make our way back over with the babies, because we need them in order to hit this block. Jump up and hit. And that will lower the spikes. And that pretty much does it for the Shroop Council sewers. But where does this pipe that we're going to take lead to? Let's find out in just a minute. And then we're pretty much going to end the episode off once we see what's going on. Make it to the last screen, there's nothing else here except the way out, so let's go. And coming through here... We are back in the first floor of Shroob Castle, and, well... This was the part that we couldn't reach before, remember there was this gate here blocking off this part? And if we hit this block right here, it can actually lower the gate that was there, so we can now access this part. And pretty much access all those parts, and it opens up a little underground section, so... And we also have this pipe right here, which is actually going to be the key to getting to the end of the area, but that's going to be for next video. And also, before we end off the video, we're going to crush the babies one more time, and we're going to have them grab this gear that's over here. So let's go up here, hit the Luigi block for 100 coins about, 120 coins. No, go back to them. Get some rocket jeans that we don't need, and a water mushroom, and that'll pretty much do it. And also, remember this. We can walk on this railing as the babies. That's going to be very important for the next episode. But we'll talk about that then. So guys, I've been Mr. Master and this has been episode 34 of Let's Play Martin Luigi Partners in Time. And I'll see you guys in episode 35 for, I believe, we're going to finish off uh, Shroob Castle and actually pretty much get to the end now. So this game's almost wrapped up. We have one little stretch before we get to the very end. And until then, guys, I'll see you then. So, I've been Miss Master One. Thank you for watching. We'll explore this little underground part in the next video. And I will see you guys then. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content coming soon. And I'll see you guys in episode 35. See you guys later.